This is the year where Windows has fallen below 50 of internet connected devices, down from 97% 10 years ago. Uh -huh. So what you're looking at here, I think, is we're going to free up literally $100 billion worth of revenue over the next few years per year in that category. And at the same time, you've got the rise of tablets, which I think will replace them to a large extent, which is a huge, if you will, think of this as Windows goes down, Apple rises, and maybe other people do too, but that's a big thing. The other thing that's going on is a titanic clash for control of the internet. And fundamentally, this is between the World Wide Web on the one hand, this is you know everything we do on a browser, right. and Apple's app model on the other. So if you think of Google as the leader of the World Wide Web group, their problem is that the underlying software for the web, what's called HTML, hasn't changed for a decade. And as a result, we haven't been able to have a bull market. There hasn't been enough opportunity for innovation. The only things that have slid through are Google and then the social companies, of which there are really only half a dozen that matter. Right, one of which what you know very well. Several of which I know very well, but you're, you're absolutely correct. But the, the thing that, that I think is so powerful here is that right now Apple is just killing the World Wide Web. I mean, people are adopting iPads and iPhones at a rate. Apple will do nearly 100 million units this year. I mean, it's just the numbers are staggering. And Google is still a great company and still growing, but it's losing influence because the success of index search has, in a sense, cause pollution to go into it and people have shifted their search behavior and if you look at it index search which is what google and microsoft do right. that used to be 90 percent of all searches say five years ago but as the signal to noise ratio has gotten worse and people's searches have been less successful they've switched to wikipedia facebook twitter yelp and lots of other very specific search engines, and those in aggregate are now more than half the market. So and so what I, what I see going on there right now is that Apple is winning, but a new thing, they're about to upgrade the World Wide Web's infrastructure with something called HTML5 that is going to put guys like you in a great new position because it's really aimed at content development. And so the content on the web is going to be wildly more competitive over the next 20 years. And I think you take this this turmoil, turning yeah. over the two biggest categories, and I think we the, it'll start slowly. But I think this is literally one of those mega cycles, like the Internet cycle that began in 94, that goes on for 10, 12, 15 years. Yeah, it sounds like a giant refresh. And forgive me for reducing it to a simple trade, but is it as simple as shorting Microsoft, Dell, Intel, and going long Apple and it, Facebook it, if you it, can? It, it, it's much more complicated than that, but it's directionally right. Microsoft's going to be fine, I believe, because they can, you remember that what, if you look at what Oracle's doing today or what Computer Associates did 15 years ago, when you're a monopolist in an important category, and they are for sure a monopolist relative to email with Exchange, they're going to be able to crank prices on Exchange. I actually think Microsoft is a buy here, but I agree with you on Intel, Dell, and the other people in their ecosystem. I think it's going to be brutal on them. I think if you wanted a perfect hedge thing, you'd be long Apple and short Google. I actually think Google will be an okay stock, but that would give you a positive return, I think, in almost every period from now on out. I think, you know, among the social guys, obviously we have a huge position in Facebook and I'm a big believer there. We have a huge position in Yelp, I'm a big believer there. And I think there are four or five other companies in that space that are really exciting. But again, social is, relatively speaking, a contained group of eight or ten stocks. And it's not an industry-wide phenomenon. Right. Tell me about um, tablets. You mentioned them before. But is that, it, it seems like it's so obviously an Apple trade, but if you wanted to move broader than that, where would you go? Well, I think it's really tricky. I think HP, which, you know, we were a big investor in Palm, and HP bought the Palm technology, which was really designed uh, to, to do tablets as well as phones. They could have a compelling product if they get it out soon enough, and if they can promote it. And HP is a very, very strong player in consumer electronics. and. I think they are very credible. I'm not as excited about the Android market because the problem is nobody makes any money from it. You know, Google doesn't protect the uh, hardware guys. There's no anti-virus uh, protection on there. I'm just really worried about the day if you own an Android tablet when some 16-year-old kid in the Eastern Bloc presses a button and erases everybody's hard drive. <laughs> and, um, you know, no, I'm serious. I mean, you had 64 apps that were removed, I think, from their store because uh, these were Android apps that were stealing credit card numbers and things. And I mean, there, it's a little bit of a wild west there. And I think with Android, I personally, that's too 
too wild west for me. I think everybody says Apple's gonna wind up with 10 or 15% market share in tablets, and that may be the most likely case, but what if they wind up with 60 or 70%? What if it's closer to iPods? I mean, then Apple's gonna be the biggest hardware yep. company there ever was yep. by a mile. Roger, you're in a unique position to tell us. Are you seeing any impact from Japan, both on the demand side and the supply uh, side in terms of supply it, chains, and is it durable? It, it is a great question. It appears to be much more significant outside of electronic technology than inside because Japan was forced, as everyone else was, to move much of their uh, electronic technology stuff to lower cost markets. Uh, things like flat panel displays moved much closer to the end markets. So I, I, the, the answer is we don't yet see it. And it doesn't appear to be material, unlike automobiles, where the supply chain